So we're going to make a coaxial trap for the 40 meter band out of a <laughs> the end of a mastic gun tube. Um, the the silicon's been used up, so we just have the the tube left. So I've chopped the end off. Don't know if it's the right length or not. Uh, we need some RG58, and I have two meters of it here. Um, uh, what else do we need? We need a drill bit, some tape, um, drill, and some wire cutters. Anyway, so we'll make up a coaxial trap, and I'm going to do this if I can in real time. Okay, right, let's go. Need a hoe to start with, I think. Uh, and in time or a tradition, we won't cut our worktop. Very simple hoe. Let's just make sure that it's uh, the right size. Yep, excellent. Now, I've worked it out on, a, on the uh, coaxial trap calculator, which I uh, will insert before we do this bit. Um, how many turns I need. And it's nine and a half, just for your information. Um, nine and a half turns, and I need at least that much coax stripped off. First and foremost, we set it to metric. Our target frequency is 7.1 megahertz. Our form, former diameter is 4.5 centimeters. Our coax is indeed 4.95. Um, or half a centimetre. Uh, the capacitance is correct per metre and we are using the uh, lowest quality in, uh, coax we can find. So let's find out what our length is. Okay, so on our former we need to have 9.1 turns. Core length will be just uh, four and a half centimetres in length. Uh, we need one and a half meters of coax, but well, we've got two meters, so we're okay there. Um, okay, there we go. So uh, let's get back to the bench and uh, let's start cutting and turning. Coolio. Right, let's try to do our turns. Like I said, it's nine turns around this former nine and a bit then we need to make our new hole this is really thin plastic so it's not difficult to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and uh, point two or something to there. What I'll do is I'll peel that back now and strip the coax back to about here. Um, actually, I'll cut it now. And uh, then we'll do some connections. What we have is the external braid or the braid of the coax connected to the center core of the other end of the coax so that it forms a double coil. I'll solder this and glue it up and then obviously solder this and solder that. Wish me luck. The 
think we got that. What we'll do is we'll get the MFJ um, antenna analyzer out and we'll use it as a dip meter and we'll find out whether or not this is going to work on the frequency that we desire. Should do. I have every confidence. Thought you might be interested to uh, to know how this works. So we put the the MFJ into what's known as uh, that's one in resonance mode. And what it tests then is, uh, it's a bit like a dip meter at that point. You put the probe inside the loop and you then get the lowest, where it dips, that's where the frequency is, uh, is resin, uh, where it's the, if you like, the, the blocking frequency, the, the cap, the trap frequency. Now, it's only a gauge, okay, uh, it changes. Um, I'm trying to get it so that I can get a decent uh, reading for you, which is difficult to do with too much metal on the desk. <laughs> See if I can put it on top of that bit of, there we go. Might be better. Amazing, I had this down to one point, to, one to one nearly earlier. Before I decided to film it, no, it's not working, isn't that amazing? Six triple five, one point six to one. That's close enough to our uh, forty meter band to uh, to block it. Anything uh, uh, below six point five will uh, automatically be too high impedance for it to work. Right, let's, this is a professionally purchased one, and uh, it's uh, reading. is at 1.6 at around 6.7 so i think we're okay with uh, 6.5 might be a little bit i just need to take a coil off if it's necessary and uh, here's one that's actually being used at the moment and that one's got a slightly higher dip but they all dip around about six and a half to, to seven so that's cool If you found this video helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. If not, well, that one works as well. Also, please consider subscribing and ticking that little bell for notifications. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Mike, M0MSN.